Oh, good afternoon people uh, we're out in our new spot uh, we'll just give it a try there's Mac uh, relaxing in his uh, hammock chair and uh, David I think is, uh, is just over there uh, we've just turned up it's, it's about in fact actually it's quarter past one in the afternoon um, as it's a new spot for us and we um, are going to be trying to be a little bit covert what we're going to do we've just uh, basically we've just most of us have had a brew um, and what we're going to do we're just going to just chill out for a while do, do a few little things that we want to do uh, before we set up any um, any tarps and what have you and we'll leave setting up tarps to about an hour before it gets dark um, and just see what the lie of the land is um, we have heard um, some over in in that sort of general direction uh, there are people working uh, in the forest um, when me and Matt came here well must be a fortnight ago now um, they were working in the same place so uh, we'll give them a chance to um, pack up for the evening um, and then we'll get ourselves sorted um, and then we'll get a get all our tarps up and uh, hopefully have a good evening so uh, I'll bring you back in a short while the thing is you want the, the wind's coming this direction towards me yeah. so you need to like the hole's got to be on that side alright what we're going to do gents is we're going to try a happy coat of fire pit see if it will work it's working Keep the nasty shovel, but I think I won't. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. It folds down nice and small. How big I'm making this? Probably too big, really. What's that? I don't know. Two cats. Let's see it from here. That's the startings of it. I'll bring you back in a little while. There we go, holes dug. Uh, note to self, buy a more expensive uh, entrenching tool. Because the, uh, the one that I bought uh, was only a fiver, wasn't expensive. But it lasted no more than around about 10 minutes digging that. And strangely enough, the tool that I used to, to do most of that um, was a, a little a little trowel which I bought in a 99p store uh, absolutely perfect so although I've just said sort of you know that five pound entrenching tool over there was absolutely useless but this 99p trowel to be honest with you done most of this so Hopefully this is going to work. I've got the hole there. Um, maybe you'll be able to see this. But that goes straight through, through there. You can see my hand through there. So obviously the fire is going to be in this one, and that will act as the chimney, the smaller hole. So you get a fire lay in there and get it going. So I'll bring you back in a short while. There we go people, we've got the fire going. Uh, doesn't appear to be drawing at the moment, but uh, well, we'll see what happens. We'll keep it keep it going and we'll cook our food on that. Plenty of wood around here. Plenty of wood just hanging 
in the trees so we know it's going to be nice and dry uh, a little bit of wood to keep us going but not obviously not enough so one Dakota fire pit bring you back later there you go people I'll just show you the other new purchase of mine is a little 10 centimeter zebra pot uh, to, be, be quite, to be perfectly truthful I didn't think it was going to be as small as that I obviously realized the the, uh, the diameter of it but I thought it might have been a little bit longer but but nevertheless I think that uh, will be a useful little pot uh, never had a zebra before but uh, there we go we get another pot on there as well. Uh, useful little fire now to cook with. So, there we go. One Dakota fire pit in action. I'll mix. What's that stove you're using, Mac? M kettle. An M kettle. M -kettle. So, Mac's going to have a brew up in that. Oh, David and myself are doing some water on this. Ah, bring you back later. Now I've got to say while I've been building the, uh, the digging the Dakota fire pit, Max's been out doing a little bit of foraging, which is why he's obviously looking so, so tired. And uh, and this is what he's uh, what his foraging has brought back. There's a now if you can see that there. There's a, there's a nice there's a small colony of Kit Kat. Chunk, <laughs> nice chunky Kit Kat. So uh, I'm going to sure enjoy the fruits of his foraging and uh, hopefully when the water boils um, on there then uh, I'm sure have a nice cup of tea as well. Uh, bring him back later. Alright people, right, as you can see we've got we've put our tarps up. There's Mac there with his uh, 4x4. His, uh, his hotel. He was going to charge us to uh, to sleep in there with him, but uh, we declined and we brought our own. But as you can see, it's a beast. Uh, loads of room, so he's going to be lost in there tonight. We've got David over here. With his setup, it's looking good. All very comfortable. Not sure about the colour though, Dave. Uh, it's green, though. Isn't it? Yeah, well, I suppose so. <laughs> and then I'm over here. I started to put it up as a um, just as a bog standard uh, A-frame, but uh, once I started, uh, I decided to have a bit of a change and gone this way round, uh, which gives me. Plenty of room to get in and out. Um, the sort of wind direction is is coming from sort of like from over that way, so I'm well protected there with that corner turned in. Um, got my stove already uh, for a quick brew in the morning, so that will all be okay. Uh, I've got my uh, British Army Arctic bag under there, uh, which is in the uh, British Army. Uh, Gore-Tex bivy bag and then what I'm laying on there's a couple of cheap ground blue ground sheep so I've been looking around for some different colour ones but I couldn't really find any I'm sure sort of I could get them off of eBay but I wanted them quick uh, so they were only £1.99 uh, 6 foot by 4 foot which is probably ideal for this sort of thing um, it's just the colour that's a bit off-putting um, and then what I've done is inside the, the Gore-Tex bivy bag I've got a cheap uh, foam mat uh, and then on top of that is a, uh, a multi-mat uh, air bed um, so uh, that should insulate me from the ground um, and I should be cosy and warm tonight uh, in the bag I've still got my softy suit so I can uh, if needed it does get a bit chilly although they reckon it's only going to get down to about 
five degrees tonight. As I say, we've got got a bit of rain. Um, we've put a uh, a tarp up here just to give us a little bit of shelter uh, for this evening, uh, so we can get under this. The fire's just on the on the outside of it. We've uh, obviously we've let it die down there, um, and then we'll get it lit a little bit later on. Um, so we can do a little bit of cooking on that, and also that will give us something to uh, sit around or sit if it's still raining, sit under the tarp next to uh, tonight. So there's our setup, ladies and gents, and uh, I'll bring you back a little bit later on. Oh, morning people. It's time to get up and uh, get a brew on. Oh, what a bad night. A little bit of uh, a little bit of rain, but uh, everything seems to be okay out there. Mac and his uh, bungalow over there. And his seat. So, can get me tea on. And my little homemade Coke can stove there is doing really well. So, bring it back in a little while okay people um, all packed up uh, David's gonna be heading off and go to a, a wedding reception this evening so uh, me and Max gonna be uh, heading off to have a, a scout around more of these woods and get take our bags back to our cars uh, and then uh, we'll have a wander but obviously the obligatory leave no trace uh, the only trace that we can leave at the moment is obviously dry patches, there's where uh, David's setup was. Um, mine was mine was over here. Uh, Ed was over there. The fireplace uh, is back to as near normal as possible. Obviously it's noticeable at the moment purely because the, the ground is disturbed. So, But uh, it won't take too long for uh, for that to revert back to uh, norm and uh, obviously it's a bit muddy underground because we did have a really wet evening but uh, other than that it was a good test of our equipment and it's a really nice woodland um, I reckon that we can uh, we'll probably come back here again maybe not to this very spot as I was saying to the two chaps earlier the woodland is so vast that uh, you know we can really go uh, quite a few different places. Uh, no need to to uh, camp in the same place. Um, so, right. So it's a so goodbye from them. It's a goodbye from me. Goodbye. However.